California Congressman Kevin McCarthy, the House Majority Leader, just blew up Congress today. Republican members were supposed to come in today, vote for their nomination, their nominee to be Speaker of the House. Uh, instead, the front runner for the position, uh, House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy, went behind closed doors with his members and said, announced that he was withdrawing from the race. The Republican Party is divided, sometimes bitterly so, between pragmatists and more hardcore conservatives. People from both parties are seemingly tired of the establishment. They're tired of those people that do business as usual. So right now, the House Republican Caucus doesn't have an, a nominee for speaker. Uh, the whole House is supposed to vote on October 29th for a speaker. The Republicans don't have a candidate yet. Uh, as of now, nobody has any indication of who, who might get in and who might the front runner be. There will be efforts to try to get House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Paul Ryan of Wisconsin to reconsider his decision not uh, to run. Little by little it affects American life, uh, sometimes in subtle ways, sometimes not. You want a functioning government. You want a government that works. That in the real world of providing money for the government and paying the government's debts, uh, this could have some very serious consequences. Uh, right now, the government is funded only through December 11th. Will they work with the president or will they draw that line in the sand? You know, it takes two to tango in Congress and right now the Republicans aren't dancing. To the average American, it's either government by confrontation or government by negotiation. In the end, someone will be elected a speaker and they're going to find it very, very difficult to do the job that McCarthy decided he was not able to do.